Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Majaika. I am the rehearsal director for Northwest Arkansas Ballet Theater. We're coming in live to our rehearsal for the Pas de Deux called First Loss. Here we are, let's see the dancers. Hey everyone, as you're tuning in, just letting you know we are working on David Justin's pas de deux, or duet, called First Loss. We're workshopping some of the lifts right now. You're supporting your back, but you're looking down past him, because the guy's here. You're looking down past him, and then when it comes time to make this change, can you melt into him this way? So lead with your sternum again. Yeah, and then that, and then you can fold your back to lay down. Gorgeous. So the music for this piece is a Franz Schubert. It's very nostalgic, it's really grand. This piece first lost premiered in 2018 at the National Choreographers Initiative in Irvine, California. Facing this way when she's in the attitude on the shoulder. As you're coming around, hide when you grab her bottom leg. So you don't want to you don't want to see that. You want to actually go. And so if you change here, the audience doesn't see that. Then her leg goes around and then step on your left and end up in fourth here rather than coming around and taking fourth. So you're gonna come around and oh arrive. So it's gotta go shot. This piece was this piece was inspired by a poem that David found, um, and it had him thinking about the first loss of your first love. So how you feel when you have a first love and you you fall so deeply, and then you move on or or you separate or you move away from someone that you love and how that feels to mourn something so gorgeous and deep. Um, we even talked about how we mourn the feeling of a first loss versus um, a love that you've had for a long time. It feels really different. So this is tapping into the feeling of how you miss a new relationship. You miss the beginnings of something lovely. It has a lot to do with remembering. So they talk a lot about 
the dancers being in space, physically together, working together, touching, but also tapping in to portraying separate memories. So they can be, you know, Jared can be dancing with Leia, but he can also be remembering another relationship that affects him personally. So it's amazing the way these dancers make this look so smooth and what they're doing is incredibly difficult. So for him to lower her entire body weight slowly and in one action, it takes hours and hours and tons of practice between these two dancers to understand their body weight, their momentum. Um, whoop. <laughs> We're gonna try it with music now. <laughs> Sound check. Amazing. You should definitely try, or maybe not, stay safe, but try at home, see how heavy it is to lift someone up, and then imagine having to lift them up over your head in one action. Incredible, beautiful. Um, lots of practice. <laughs> Something we've talked about with this work a lot is how it's choreographically built on the idea and the nature of circles. So how you orbit, how you intersect um, two circles. You can see how here how um, Leo uses circles to move Carmen around in a way that engages with her weight and her center of balance and make everything work a bit more smoothly and a bit more naturally, gracefully. We've been talking about the idea of planets, two whole entities 
orbiting and coming at different proximities to each other, moving away, moving close, or completely missing each other and how that feels too. So many circles. Ready? Hang on one second. Can uh can we stand this a little bit? Can you think I have to sit back? There we go. Just so that when you're tiny. Okay, here we go. Dancers and dancers. Something else that's really challenging about this particular duet is that in the theme of missing, of memory, of remembering something you've experienced before, the dancers actually are choreographed to not look at each other in moments when in a normal pas de deux, in a normal duet, you would look at each other and see what's happening. Is this, uh, but in this particular wonder? duet, okay. they miss each other with their oh. eyes, and this is technically go, much more challenging and takes a lot of practice and synchronicity. Gorgeous. Okay. It's, it's, it's hard because it's so sustained. Yes. It's so sustained. The way that they smooth everything out, the way that they make everything connect, the sort of connective tissue we like to talk about between the larger steps, so smooth and graceful, it takes a lot of patience and strength. Okay, let's see. Lowering, slowly, nice. And then here, and you're there by the time you touch it, yeah. And then as you put your feet down, then you're gonna change your hands, ladies. Change, and. Oh. Okay, what happened? It's a really long way, so I'm. 
had a shoe slip off. Those point shoes. Wow. Gorgeous. Yeah, and let your and feel the line of your neck. There, soften. That's it. Wow. Does that make sense? There you go. Is it? It's just working. It's really hard to get up because it's a straight oblique frontal down side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can. I think you can crack. Well. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We've loved opening up our studio time to you and we wish you could be here in person. We miss seeing everyone. We miss our audience. We miss our community. We miss our family here in Northwest Arkansas. So he's got you. Bend in the hips. Bend in the hips. Now press and uh, Beautiful. Tune in for our next one. We'll let you know when that happens and stay in touch about performances that we'll be doing and videos that will be shared for you to view more of these gorgeous dancers. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye everyone. Good. Okay.